Well, hello, my beautiful people. So today's topic of this little reading will be uh, what it is that your crush likes about you. Uh, what are your specific features, just character traits and everything else that comes into the picture. Your pizzazz, you know. Uh, so let's begin. You will pick three cards just to indicate piles. And we shall start soon. Looking major, looking for major arcana ones, okay. So, today's piles are release, pile number one, lovers, pile number two, and renewal, pile number three. I hope you can see everything correctly. Let's start with the release. What do they, uh, so for those of you who chose this release, what does your crush like about you? What do they like the most? I'm getting there's a certain air of cockiness to you guys at times, but let's see. So, what they seem to like mostly, you may be the type of uh, person who rejected a lot of potential suitors, so this is something that your crush acknowledged and you may have this reputation of not being an easy target, so people do know uh, that they do have to act in a certain way in order to get with you guys, so this is something significant. I'm also getting for some of you, you may be having like knowledge of scriptures, you may know uh, to recite like Quran or Vedas or Bible, uh, so forgive me if I mispronounce something just... Uh, so this is something, there's a great, of, great air of certain big uh, mm, quality of being just learned but in certain ancient type of knowledge if that makes sense so uh, your crush sees you as somebody who changed your identity many times and they really dig it it's like what will I see the next when it comes to this person uh, this is something that really thrills them is what I'm sensing so um, but let me see uh, what else we have here. <clears throat> I'm getting when it comes to this, you guys may have like certain hours when you just don't go out or uh, certain periods of your life when you go into withdrawal or detachment or uh, you know, and people may be wondering what are you doing when you are in those period of yours, almost like bears go into a winter dream. Uh, is it that how it is said uh, on Engli in English? I'm not quite sure, but you know, um, but people are almost positive that at each uh, withdrawal period of yours, you come out with a new business, new prospect, new project, something that will benefit not only you, but also others. So, uh, and with that being said, they like that you are the type that you are not always the one to just be all the time initiating or uh, chasing or whatever it is. So it's quite quite interesting dynamic where you really have this perfect sense and feeling of when to stop with every type of action or let's say every type of... Um, moving forward or uh, you're just the type to know how to moderate your moderate your ambitions or uh, just moderate your efforts even so it's quite interesting I'm also getting with this king of wands reversed you may have some type of non-standard appeal 
there may be something unusual about your physical appearance who may be either like taller than average woman or man or uh, shorter or there's something very quite exotic to your face <coughs> or unusual uh, for your surroundings where I'm also sen sensing but I'm getting that your crush is really intrigued and uh, pulled in by this quality of yours so you can be wearing hair in a certain haircut way so it's quite interesting but let me see what else. Okay, There's some type of quality when it comes to your fingers also. I'm sensing you may have like long fingers like pianists or just beautifully formed. Uh, I'm getting a lot of people get fetish about how your hands look or you could have been told that you may be like hand model or something along those lines. Uh, but let me see. Hmm. With the Nord node in the 8th house, uh, you will be the type of a person who is more secretive than average person. So there's many aspects of your life and your, let's say, life oscillations that are not known to people. Uh, I'm getting people maybe wondering what are your problems, what are your struggles. Because uh, you keep everything in secrecy and uh, your crush digs this. Uh, I mean... They dig how private you are about things that you are sensitive about, if that makes sense. So, um, with Jupiter and Cancer, for some of you I'm getting they're digging how uh, well-mannered and gallant you are toward your like mother figures or uh, women in your life or uh, can be toward your Petri's uh, ancestors who may have really special connection with your ancestors and I'm hearing for this pile you do have and you should uh, apply practices more in order to connect them because I'm sensing they will especially be important to a certain endeavor of yours uh, you should call on their guidance is what I'm hearing let me see what else we have with Mercury in first house um, Mercury does uh, have quite quite a lot of qualities, but for some of you, you I'm sensing you may have like uh, once again I'm not um, exactly sure about correct expression if, in English. If somebody knows, uh, please can you write it for us? But uh, like when you have like perfect hearing. Um, but in a musical sense, you know, you, there's something about your quality of hearing uh, or either either that or for some of you I'm getting like you may have quirks about your hearing uh, like at times you don't hear so well but at other times you hear some tiny sound of your cell phone being on the whole another floor or something like that uh, when you can hear things that are much more farther in the distance than you are. So uh, some of you will correlate with that. This is a little quite specific. I'm not sure if your crush even knows about this, but uh, this is just, just something that jumped out that Spirit wanted to talk about. But yes, um, I'm getting with the Taurus in the second house, you always have something either flashy or something Venusian to your style that really adds up to your style. I'm getting you can even go out in sweatpants, you will have one specific detail that uh, adds a little bit of bougie quality to the whole outfit. So this is something that they really admire and get, uh, admire and dig about you. But let me just see, with Saturn in Aries, uh, one thing I'm getting here, because Aries is first house, uh, our physical self, uh, just the house of ourselves, you know, uh, our who we are, and whatever uh, comes into the first house really denotes what are we naturally attracting. And with Saturn, you may be the type to attract a lot of older uh, lovers or older or mature people may uh, have a liking for you guys, so. Let me see. 
they like how this tremendously observant side you have to yourself. I'm getting you could be that almost detective type of a personality uh, that could diagnose a person just by one look. For example, you look at the person and you know immediately, aha, this person is, I don't know, recovering from a heavy breakup or they do have one specific strong and uh, tough addiction that they can't get rid of. So the things of that nature, you just have this natural knowing when it comes to those things. Let me see. Let me just take a quick look at this one. I'm getting for some of you also with Saturn in Aries because uh, each correlation of Saturn with first house gives uh, sort of quite a mature look in your youth but quite a young, younger look in your uh, older age. So for some of you, you also may have this type of face where people can figure out your age. Uh, and this is something that's really appealing, you know, uh, and I'm getting really sharp or uh, sharper quality to your eyes that they uh, notice and really dig. Hey, but if you like this little report, give it a little like uh, so that it reaches more people. Mm. Yes, but I think I will end it here uh, for the first pile. Um, do check the others also if you feel called to... Uh, it's, this is all inclusive reading, we do as we are in the mood, so uh, let's continue with the second one. So, for those of you who chose these lovers, People who chose lovers. What does your crush like? What does your crush like? What does your crush like? I'm getting there's a certain quality when you socialize with other people. Uh, just some trait of yours that somehow energetically opens the other people. It may be something correlated with your aura. I'm just getting when you come into an area where people are gathered immediately atmosphere becomes more relaxed or people start Mm, looking at each other more, they start chatting more, they uh, kind of all of a sudden want to ask more questions uh, is what I'm sensing, so you do have, but I'm getting there's something really nonchalant that you do that initiates the other people to act in this manner, so um, but let's see what else we have significant let me just check this one quickly. I'm getting some of you may have uh, this exact perfect feeling or talent about it. It will either be when you cook something or uh, you could have this perfect sense of how to make like rooms or um, you know, cosmetics, something along those lines where you could have this perfect feeling and sense or candles of how much uh, or how many of the, that ingredients goes uh, to create a perfect aroma or a perfect taste. Uh, just that perfect flavor that nobody else can guess is what I'm sensing. If you haven't already started doing something that along those lines I'm sensing that you will you may start getting into aromatherapy or something like natural cosmetics or just mixing and meshes, meshing different uh, ingredients to create something healthy something something 
um, that indulges senses is what I'm also getting. But let me see. Hey, but if you like this little report, give it a little like so that more people get uh, to see the reading. But let me see. I'm getting that your crush and people are sensing some type of protective layer around you. So it can be that you stem from a family that really tried and cocooned you. Uh, really took proper care that you get the best education, the best manners. Uh, I'm getting nothing about you is coincidental. The way you walk, the way you uh, sit. Uh, I'm getting your family really instilled those values of having also a proper etiquette for some of you is what I'm sensing. There's something sophisticated about your etiquette uh, is what cards are wanting to say. A certain air of elegance and I'm getting your crush can't even pinpoint what it is exactly but they just assume that you come from a higher or... Uh, uh, higher or how do I say it well a very proper behaved uh, type of a family where you know due to their behavior in your youth or something uh, you got quite a good uh, ground area for your further life if that makes sense and you are a very protected type of a person some of you may have like brothers cousins who will uh, beat uh, anybody who tries and offend you or something along those lines uh, and your crushes you know they know that you are not the one to mess with <clears throat> I'm not to say uh, this is not to say that you are not uh, strong as a personality yourself but I'm getting you have like beneficial others that assist you when it comes to this also so uh, it's a really beautiful quality uh, <clears throat> but let me see I'm getting people feel free and at ease to be weak in front of you or to fall asleep uh, in front of you you know how some uh, people can't really fall asleep nowhere but home or um, can't really do it in front of just everybody but I'm getting you have something that uh, Acts, acts like uh, sedating other people but in a positive way uh, so I'm getting you have very specific energy vibe that can really give consolation to people who are traumatized or abused or suffering from addiction suffering from family abuse is what I'm sensing there's certain uh, quality of yours that truly uh, call sin and embraces these people somehow. I don't know why, um, but let me see what else. With Gemini in the eight, how some of you are quite versatile and knowledgeable about, you know, taboo subjects, of occult, even uh, sudden transformations and life changes. Uh, so this is something quite significant. Some of you are also good financial managers because eight houses, eight houses, other people's money, Gemini's uh, managing uh, knowledge about it, informational uh, wisdom. So either people sense that type of talent in you or you may have in past or really near future, future be working something even that may be correlated with other people's money um, and your crush will dig it. If some of you have started a new business, they are really admiring that also. Uh, those who like wearing like long dresses, they do like the, like these like long gowns. Uh, I'm getting when you are whining and dining, there's a special quality to your charisma. Uh, I already mentioned something about that, but uh, your crush is really noticing this how you really shine in those circumstances. But let me see, with Leo in the first house, your crush really likes your hair, especially if it is like expensive, like clients have, you know, how their uh, main looks, you know. So <clears throat> you may have an expensive quality, like it can be curly or wavy or just uh, 
full of volume also. Mm. And the thing, you have this great ability to bring a lot of peace to animals for whatever reasons. Animals feel very tranquil in your presence. Uh, but let me see what else we have. With Leo in the second house, some of you are earning money from your talents and this is incredibly sexy. Some of you do know a lot about health. Like you can know a lot about health, psychology, healing, alternative like Reiki and things like that. This is something that people really do admire about you. With Leo in the second house, you have quite an authoritative stance when you speak. There's something very demanding, commanding of attention. People immediately uh, look at you and want to know what you want to say. Uh, so this is something really beautiful, but let me see. Mm. I'm getting some of you may be into the open arrangement when, when it comes to love relationships and people just dig how uh, relaxed and uh, unrestricted you can be, you know, you live your life according to your own preferences, some of you have like beautiful feet and lower stomach and your foreign, your ex-lovers really uh, appreciate that and getting your ex-lovers get addicted to that and uh, remember it with uh, quite a lot of fondness for it still so some of you overcame some type of panic attacks episodes or anxiety or uh, mania I'm hearing mania for somebody uh, somebody will resonate with that but people also dig how energized you are, uh, despite perhaps sometimes suffering from mania. So, um, of course, take what resonates, this won't be for all of you. Uh, I'm getting there is a specific person that kind of saw you uh, going out of a difficult connection that could have lasted for a long or something like that, but it is slightly toxic and they want to be your rebound, your new beginning, uh, you know, they wouldn't mind even to be your rebound also, uh, but let me see, or friends with benefits, if you would accept that, and getting for them, they would accept anything just to be in your uh, closeness. Have we missed anything? With Scorpio in the fourth house, some of you uh, are very passionate about your home, about your family, for some about your homeland. There's something about that, uh, or about some type of traditional qualities, and your crush really does admire that, because it aligns with some of their uh, systems of values also, so um, let me see getting there something about your posture, your crush likes your posture uh, but I'm getting like you may have done a certain exercise for a prolonged period of time and your body shows you know so it's beautiful okay uh, but I will end it here for the second pile I hope you guys enjoy this little report and uh, do check the third one if you feel called to. But let's see. So for those of you who chose this, no, renewal it was. So, we are checking today is what does your crush like the most about you, what do they like? What do they like?
I'm getting your crush likes the colors you wear and just your general sense of outfit. You can have a lot of earthy colors and this is something that they really admire. You can have strong Capricorn due to that because caps like wearing earthy colors and things of similar nature. So this is something that your crush really notices and likes about you. I'm getting some of you may be having non-standard or unusual profession or the way you approach your work is uh, somewhat eccentric your, or your colleagues may think that you have some eccentric methods or behaviors but that somehow paradoxically contribute to the business if that makes sense. Uh, and this especially applies for those who have crushes among your colleagues, co-workers. This is something beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm getting your crush things that you are aware of, your physical beauty, of your attributes, of your uh, pizzazz, you know, and they think it's sexy that someone knows their self-worth, so... Uh, you will not be the type to have any type of bodily complexes. I mean, you can be plus size, you can be thin with this, you can be fit, uh, you know. But I'm just getting their certain air of full acceptance of how you look physically. So, uh, this is something that your crush really finds beautiful and amazing about you as well. Mm. And getting your crush likes how quick to react you are to certain things or quick to act or uh, quick to deliver the proper course of action for some of you. Let's say uh, your crush is among your colleagues. So you will be the type of a person who will be quickest to suggest the best working technique uh, and you will do it like this, uh, you know. Uh, so... Mm, there's something about quickness of your mind that is capable to bring uh, fast solutions, if that makes sense. So, your crush really digs this quality about you. Some of you may have a bus body is full of joy and uh, full of life and vitality, and this is something that they really dig. Mm. Okay, for some of you, I'm getting. Uh, you may have like tendency for Egyptian culture, something related to Egypt, or you may have all, all of a sudden felt this need to wear like Egyptian type of cultural um, clothes or accessories or just um, something that you decor your house with. Uh, and I don't know if your crush has seen this, but this is something that Spirit wanted to talk about also. Uh, or there's just some air about you that uh, really is speaking about having this ancient Egyptian vibe to you. You may have uh, eyes positioned in an interesting manner, so that intrigues people also, is what I'm sensing. Your crush likes that you lived an extraordinary life, is also what I'm sensing. They like how systematic you are into uh, doing the right in the situation. So uh, I'm getting you always choose the right, right course of action, but you do it in a way which is quite structured, you know. Uh, you don't do impulsive things, but uh, you have your exact method how you do things, and it's usually the best method, you know. Uh, you're very moderate and strategized in how you go about your life is what I'm also sensing. You're not an attention seeker also. But you have strong, with Mars in Leo, strange charisma when you speak. I'm getting there's something very domineering, something very even masculine for some of you. Uh, I don't know why when you speak, but... Uh, there's also something about your actions that gives with this Mars in Leo, because Mars is strength, Leo is confidence. Something about Mars is also our actions. So something about your actions that elevates other people. Uh, confidence, you may love to love bomb your loved ones also is what I'm also getting. So 
uh, hey but if you like this little report give it a little like so that you, it reaches more people uh, but I'm getting you your crush also things that you may have uh, very good genetics they want to be <laughs> they want to let's say contribute to their uh, to your gen genetics if it's biologically possible I mean of course um, but with the Mars in fourth house you will be the type to have quite an active life I'm getting you are not at peace even in your home you're constantly doing something uh, perhaps it can be exercise with this Mars uh, it can be some type of hobby of yours you know uh, I'm getting some of you may have strange like ability toward weaponry or archery or something along those lines let me know if that uh, resonates for somebody so uh, you may be the type to like I don't know collect the guns or something mm. but I'm I'm not getting anything like uh, violent it's just uh, collecting hoarding for whatever reason uh, this popped up uh, but let me see I'm getting with Virgo in the 8th house, mm, let me just check. Your crush lies that you would be the type to really treat your in-laws well, so you would be quite service oriented, perhaps you would be the type to call your father-in-law, I don't know, is it necessary, uh, do you have to go uh, to see a doctor, I can drive you, or... Uh, don't worry about that thing that you had to pick up from your friend I'm gonna just stop by because I'm on my way so I'm getting you would be very service oriented and kind toward your in-laws and somehow your crush get a got a hunch about that uh, also so um, Jupiter in the 8th house I'm getting your crush things that you are quite a lucky person uh, and that you always, um, you always end up well, even in the midst of a misfortune. Let's say you got fired, you would be the person who would get uh, the even best, better paid job after that. Or uh, let's say your house had this minor, had this minor fire in it. Uh, after that, you guys would completely renew yourself because you would have some type of cash uh, in savings with this Taurus first house and Scorpio second house as you are passionate toward having savings also so you would be the type to have some savings and you would immediately I don't know buy a new couch so you you end up uh, really well from uh, turbulent circumstances if that makes sense so um, but let me see you do have like this dry humor that they really appreciate also Mm, I'm getting there's something about your nose, it may be quite regular or uh, your face may be quite, quite dull, like see how the face of this person is, it's really regular and beautiful to look at and smaller features and everything really, perhaps she even has a golden ratio and everything is very mm, harmonious features is what I'm getting, everything very fitting with uh, just who she is as a personality also so um, some of you may like to cover your heads also is what I'm getting I don't know how is it said in um, Muslim countries hijab I think it is if you are the type to wear it your crush things it really looks amazing when you uh, it emphasizes your beautiful facial features <clears throat> or that you just look very uh, handsome or if you wear any type of scars this can apply also uh, but I think I will end it here uh, so if you guys like this little report uh, give it a little like and see you in the next one